What's up, everyone? Wow, big green day. $88,000 in the green, 77,000 on INDP. I was up over 100,000. I finally broke 100 grand. I was up $103,000 on the day. Man, that's crazy. Well, couldn't keep it all in my pocket. Gave back 15,000 off the top, and that was as INDP was consolidating between, 20, between $18 and $22. I took a break, I walked away. I'm now seeing it hit $28 a share. It finally broke out and I'm, I'm happy to see it, but the breakout started on lighter volume. And that lighter volume breakout at lunchtime, that can be a bull trap. That can be a really risky place to be a buyer with big shares because with the lighter volume, if you all of a sudden catch a flush, and I see a couple big flushes on it, like two, three dollar a share flushes in a couple of candles. So a big flush like that with big share size, that can hurt. And that's the last thing you wanna do is give back a big chunk of the day at lunchtime. So, you know, as it turns out, maybe had I traded the break at 22.50 and stepped up to the plate with 3,000 or 4,500 shares, I might've been able to add five or six or $7,000 of profit. I don't think I would've been able to take the share size to get myself back over a hundred grand without taking an unnecessary level of risk. Because of course, if that trade went the other way, I'd then go from up 88,000 on the day to you know, 80, 75, 60. At what point do you just say enough's enough? So I got green, great green day, a really solid, you know, September 15th, middle of the month green day. And that makes a huge difference on the month. Uh, I actually don't know where I sit on the month right now. I haven't looked since last week. I've decided just to step back a little bit and not focus quite so much on my day-to-day -day metrics and my P&L of how much I'm up or how much I've given back, just to let it be what it is and focus on trading. So today was a great day and I'm happy to see INDP. Uh, not only has held up really well, it's still up 237%, but actually went uh, eight points higher without me. So that's great to see. As always, in case you already know, my results are not typical. Don't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. The typical result of a beginner trader is that they lose money. You should assume, therefore, that you would lose money with that assumption in mind, trade in a simulator before you put real money on the line. I actually saw someone just note about 10 minutes ago in the chat room, I, I just lost $15,000 on INDP. They were buying it for the break of 28, lost 15 grand. He said, I'm glad it was in a simulator. I'm glad too, because that was a risky entry and you know, it's one thing to make that mistake with a simulator. It's another thing to learn those rookie mistakes with real money. It's not worth it. So take it slow. Please hit that thumbs up for today's recap. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you back at it tomorrow morning, Thursday. And hopefully we can finish off this week with a couple more really solid days. This is exactly what we needed, some fresh momentum. So we got it and let's look for sympathy momentum now based on INDP. All right, everyone, so uh, finishing the day up $88,820.40. I was up 103,000, that was my peak, and gave back 15,000 off the top. INDP, my losers were 5,000 loss here, uh, then another 5,000 loss trying to do a dip that was early. So gave back 10,000 from up 102 to up 92. Got back in right here. Got myself back to up 103, and then dip trade here for the break of 22, gave back uh, 13,000, was up only around 90,000 on the day, and then took one more trade uh, right in here for the break over 1981, and stopped out up uh, 88,000 on the day. So gave back a little bit off the top. So those are my last losers, but let's look at um, perhaps the best trade, which was the long over 1250, a red to green move. So right here, 1250, red to green move, squeeze into a halt at 1350, dip and rip up to a high of 1418, pulls back, goes up to 15. And through this area, I got myself up to around 36,000 on the day. And at that point, I thought, you know what? It's a pretty good day. Maybe I should just leave it at that. And then on this break right here, over 1477, one more trade, got me to up 51,000 on the day. One minute micro pullback, one more trade, got myself up 70,000 on the day. And then right here, we got this halt going up at 1719. It opened higher, but then dipped down. And then right through here as it rallied and curled back up, 
that got me to up around 100,000 on the day. Uh, but of course, overstayed my welcome a little bit, which is perfectly normal and is the right way to trade these, to trade until you just kind of start to lose a little bit. I, you know, I even still think on this that it's not done yet because it's still well above the VWAP. It's at the nine moving average. And if it can break with some volume over $20, we've got a good shot at getting back to 2122. The problem is managing risk. And this red candle right here that dropped from 1941 to 1778, you know, these three red candles are what's giving me pause to take more trades. The volume has declined on it quite a bit. So I was trading it a lot better when the volume was higher. And now that we've got lighter volume, it just is not as easy to trade. The spreads are getting a little bit bigger. It's kind of top heavy and it, we have these momentary panic flushes and then it maybe pops back up, but also maybe go into a halt down. So I'm pretty happy with today. A day like today changes the month significantly you know i mean a couple days like this each month is a multi-million dollar year ultimately so this is a was a much needed green day it's one of the biggest green days i've had in a while it's the first day in a while that i broke a hundred thousand i just couldn't stay above it but i only broke it by a couple thousand you know and i was that was when this was really high up and i was going for some more big trades but i just couldn't um really hold it together so Anyways, that's all right. Uh, it's a green day nonetheless. And who knows, maybe by the end of the day, this will provide more opportunities, but I don't want to overstay my welcome and give back really too much more. Uh, I'm okay giving back 15 off the top. I don't want to give back 25 or 30. That starts to be giving back more than one good day of trading, which is not going to work for me. So that was INDP. Um, small account I traded today, but pretty quickly shifted focus from the small account over to the big account. It just didn't really make sense given this opportunity to miss it in the big account. So I traded aggressively in the big account, locked up some really nice gains. Uh, Warrior Pro students, you'll have the live trading archive of uh, the trading in the small account, which included my trades in the big account as I was uh, trading INDP at the same time. I, I was focusing, I was still thinking maybe I would take more trades in the small account, but then ended up not. So and in any case, you guys will be able to watch that in the live trading archives and chapter 16 of the small account challenge. That'll be uploaded later today. But uh, for right now, I am just grateful to have a really nice big green day here. It's the middle of the month, September 15th, and I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow. Tomorrow will be day 41 of the small account challenge. Uh, it's going to be just a you know, ordinary Thursday, but Wednesdays and Thursdays have been some of my best days of the week. So I'm excited for what the rest of the week holds. What I had said yesterday and the day before was that we really needed some fresh momentum and we just got it today on INDP. We got it big time. I, I hope that it holds up. I hope that maybe we do get some opportunities on it going into the afternoon and it closes strong. Even if I don't trade it again, that would just be so great for momentum in general, but I don't know if that'll happen. So. In any case, I'm going to lock it up here, just under $90,000 in profit in the big account, $1,300 in the small account, and I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning, and hopefully we have some more momentum and we can finish off the week with a couple more green days. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. As always, a day like today with big numbers. Remember, my results are not typical. Don't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. There's no doubt about the fact that uh, I've been trading for a long time, and that got me to the place where I could trade this aggressively. I also trade with larger share size, of course, aggressively on a stock of this uh, price range. So take it slow, one trade at a time. Uh, and if you want to see some of my big red day recaps, those are on YouTube. The day I lost $275,000 in one day is a red day recap. So you can see both sides of the coin. That's part of trading. All right, that's it for me. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you really enjoyed that video and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers this year, but we won't get there without your help. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button.